Hey guys, it's Arcade and today I'm going to show you a new plugin in FL Studio that is actually not a new plugin at all, but it is new for me so it might be new for you as well. So it's called uh, Dashboard. So maybe you've seen this plugin already, maybe you just randomly open it and see this and nothing is actually doing anything. So you're like, yeah, no, this plugin is not doing anything. But it's actually pretty useful plugin. I just found out myself. Um, you can actually create controllers here and control other sounds with them. So if you know Ableton, they have this macro control. Or if you use uh, Massive, it also has. Um, hold on a second. Uh, macro controllers here, and what they do they can control multiple um, knobs at the same time so you just do like this and when you move this all the knobs actually move so that's in massive and you can actually do this with every sound in FL Studio using this dashboard plugin so it's um, pretty interesting I found out just now but yeah so I'm gonna show you how to use it so let's close it one more time and just go from the beginning. You basically uh, choose it uh, channels at one dashboard, and then you click this arrow, not this one, but this one. Uh, add control, and you choose the control you want to add. So probably the wheel is the best if you are controlling the knobs. So let's go with gray shiny, and we have it here and we can move it around it doesn't really do anything just yet now let's say we have a uh, silent let's use silent for this tutorial and just open the random sound bank and random sound uh, I would prefer arpeggiator actually is there any arpeggiator yeah here but it's called up down so it's gonna Okay, let's see this one. Okay, let's put it here. It doesn't really matter. It's just for a test. Okay. So we have this arpeggiator or other sound in, in our song. And we want to control, create automation clips of few... Um, controllers, knobs or faders. So one way we could do that is uh, click this button and move each knob we wanna control okay just click on it or move it and while this is enabled then right click this and create automation clips. So now you have five, six automation clips and you need to automate each and every by itself. Yeah, and that's pretty annoying. Even in the in the whole FL Studio, you will have just a lot of automation clips. Uh, so that's not the option for us. So let's do it differently. Let's just delete all of these now. Why did I even? Okay. So we're gonna control all of these knobs with one knob, and yeah that's how we're gonna do it with the dashboard so what we're gonna do now is pretty much the same thing we're gonna enable this and move each knob we wanna control so let's say we wanna control cutoff we wanna control volume and this volume as well and also phase and maybe just something random no, the drive okay so we selected a few of them, as you can still while this is enabled, and you can actually see it when you select one, it, it pops up there. And now we're going to right click it, and we're going to choose link to controllers. And here, we're going to choose the wheel one, which is this one right here. We can actually rename it, so we are more organized. Um, so let's select wheel one and press accept and then just select it for each 
a knob. As you can see, we have all the knobs we just selected here. So we're gonna select uh, wheel one for each and every. And now we can um, control all the knobs with this one knob. We're just gonna click on this. We're just gonna let us control the knobs. And as you can see, in silent, all the knobs are moving when you are moving this one knob here. So let's test the sound. Okay, and if we wanna unlink any of the knobs from this knob, we're just gonna click this button again. We're gonna click uh, the volume because that's what we wanna unlink and just go to link to controllers again and since we click the volume it's selected and we're just gonna choose none from this drop down menu and accept and now when we move it again the volume is no longer moving so let's just put the volume here and play the sound now so everything is moving except the volume because we unlinked it so yeah, this is pretty much it. I just wanted to show you because I learned about it myself. And I think I'm going to use this quite a while, quite sometimes because I already was looking for this but didn't know it exists in FL Studio. So it's really nice when you need um, to automate multiple clips. And actually, one, one last thing, um, you can just create an automation clip like usually by right clicking and create automation clip and move it like this. So this is actually five automation clips in one. Which is pretty nice. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you this new plugin I found. It's not new actually. It's pretty old in fact. But yeah, maybe you didn't know either so it might be helpful thank you for watching uh, goodbye